Hi, it's One Invisible Songstress, and I do have a new song today. The song is called The Story of Your Life, and some words to explain to you in case you do not know what they mean. The word Hashem Yitbarach, well, Hashem literally means the name, so I don't use the one above's name in vain, and I show respect, Respect and Yitbarach is blessed. Uh, the word Olam Haba is the world to come. Torah is the um, consists of both the written and the oral Torah. Some people call it the Old Testament. Mitzvot are the commandments. Teshuva, uh, well, the word actually means to return, but people call it uh, re, uh, to repent. Uh, Yetzer Hara is the evil inclination. Hakadosh Baruch Hu is the Holy One. Blessed is He. What is or will be the story of your life? Will it be filled with love, joy, happiness, and closeness to Hashem Yitbarach? Or one of failure, dismay, disgust, and strife? And strife? The canvas is empty when you are born. Although you have been here in the world before, in another body, and do have a past to contend with, the tools are waiting. Choose them wisely in the hopes it will become a masterpiece that you can admire as well as others. This is not a contest or competition as to who can be rich or prettier or famous. This is about what you choose to focus on and consider important in your life journey. Your material successes and achievements are very short-lived because they are only important while you are in a physical being. But the key is living a life of spiritual growth and fulfillment rather than one of materialism and disappointment. We have been given all the instructions by the creator of the world with clearly detailed commandments and laws written in the Torah that we must follow. Hashem did not bring us here to figure it out on our own. He gave us the guidelines, including the Ten Commandments that were written on stone. You can accumulate lots and lots of money like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, although they are some of the most charitable, giving away more than half their wealth while still alive. But in the end, it will have no value just like a lifeless puppet. What will carry you through to Olam Haba are your learning Torah and doing mitzvah as no one else can lay claim to or take them away from you. They are yours forever and ever, so why not be clever by pursuing the righteous endeavors and finding a way to do even more to skip Tip the scales in your favor on Judgment Day, and even the us for better yet to come out ahead. So the one, the the one way I know for sure that will get you to have the greatest impact for each and every one of you and bring you endless return on your investment in the next world is saving Jewish souls from utter destruction and helping them to do tshuva and return to the truth of Hashem and the Torah. Most of us do not have the knowledge or time to do so on our own. Instead, contribute your monthly maser for Kirov to Rabbi Mizrahi of DivineInformation.com. He gives out free CDs at his lectures that have a tremendous impact on the people who listen. Then you get credit for every mitzvah they do for eternity because of your donation. If they take the CD but never listen, you get their share in Olam Haba. So it is a sure thing for you, a no-lose situation. Can there be or is there any better investment? I do not know of any. So do not delay. Start sending your donation by check, credit card, or PayPal today. Do not let the Yetzirah get in your way and fill your head with all the nonsense of this world. 
like flashy and modest clothing, excessive and expensive jewelry, luxury cars, exotic vacations, trashy movies, big screen TVs, unkosher music. Shall I go on? It is all a complete waste of time and you will not even get a minuscule amount of credit in the court of heaven for all the bombastic choices you who made by using your money and time for things that are really shameful and ought to be considered a crime for which the punishment would be reincarnating to this world with none of it measure for measure and living life as a beggar so how will the story of your life be played out on the big screen in the sky that is completely up to you in this physical world by what you choose to think say and do and do who, who, no matter who you were in the past, in all your previous reincarnations, and even in this life, the time is now. While your soul lives in a body, to do chuba and correct yourself, as Hakadosh Baruch Hu wants the best for you, and even to your last breath, you can make a man. But why wait and and fate? Because no one knows when that will be, and it can happen without the chance for any preparation. So live each day as if it were your last, and then you will do everything in your power today to rectify your mistakes. Thanks for listening, one invisible songstress.